Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you are there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. In every kiss, in every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 35, NASDAQ off 20, S&P's off 3, gold contract flat at 1,696 an ounce. Silver, down 7 cents trading out at $32.28 an ounce. Copper. Up a penny at 367 a pound. Light sweet crude up 94 cents, trading out at $86.83 a barrel. Bonds up 19 ticks, trading out at 148.13. King dollar down uh, 33 ticks at 79.58. Euro is trading 131.60, and the yen is at 83.49. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We're at 14.12.74. We did uh, 656 million versus 663. I suspect right now, in fact, uh, more than likely it's, it's over that right now because to a quarter past four, they can, uh, you can basically get the same acceleration. Okay, so it's 665. Bottom line, small expansion in volume. Uh, we stay with the S&P here for a second. What you have with the cash S&P? We're at the 1412. This is going to be next stop down here is 1398. That's where it's going to make it to. Uh, what I do want to see in the S&P and in the Dow Industrials is an expansion of volume. We had a slight one today, but no, no big one. Dow Industrials, same setup in the Dow. You're down 35 bucks. No big deal there. Uh, you're at 13,135. This is going to make a run down to that 12,900. 23. NASDAQ Composite. Now, Composite is a different animal. Composite has the, has the juice, has all, all of the above. Uh, composite today down 20 bucks. We're at 29.71. Um, what the Composite's going to do, and this is what's always dangerous, folks, the Composite closed at 29.71. The swing point there is 29.58. Um, composite very well can jump the creek. And jump in the, it's a small creek, but the bottom line, a jump in that creek is going to put the composite ASAP down to that 2810 area. And we know as soon as we talk the composite, as soon as we talk the NDX 100, Apple. Someone took a nice big bite out of Apple today. Okay, so what does Apple do? Apple down 20 bucks. We're at 509.79. We did 35 million shares, so check it out. What we have here is this. We hit a low today, it hit 505.58. That low that was established on the first A to B leg on the way down, November 16th. Uh, that low had 45 million, it did 35. Uh, the next low that it broke out here today, a higher low, that was 518, it just blew that one away. Now, that's on the daily. Watch what ends up happening when you put this on the weekly. It's nasty. It is nasty, nasty, nasty. So, weekly basis, the week of the 16th, which was the low, which was the prior low, 127 million. Well, we just came into that with 119 million. Big trouble here, folks. Let me tell you, this is a 225 point ABC structure on the way down, and that's right. One of the questions in the den is, will Apple jump the creek? I suspect it's going to jump the creek on Monday, and that's why I set up the Nasdaq first. Nasdaq is right there that it wants to set up the creek, and the reason that that. The Nasdaq's going to jump the creek is that Apple's going to leap. And it looks to me like it, this thing's going to be quite a leap. Because what you had today in Apple, now watch this. Actually, when Daryl had his show on, um, he had come over to me and uh, he was talking about um, there's a $5 spike in Apple intraday, folks, okay? And the first spike came in uh, at 1340 hours, okay? Now, so check this out, because this, this is, you really want to get your head wrapped around this for a second. Now, I went back to Daryl, and if you, you know, I said, ah, it looks like a bad tick to me. Well, this is what ended up happening, folks. Those bad ticks continued happening every 10 minutes for three, six, eight different ticks. I, and I can tell you what that's all about, and this, they, they, this, I'm going to bring you to the S&P afterwards. 
is that there's desperation out here right now. That, those, those right there was basically an operator try, I'm my speculation is because there's so many of them, trying to um, get up into the uh, higher range and get the aspect of a run going topside. And it absolutely failed. It was desperation. Now watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you over and I'll show you the S&P, uh, the future market. The same thing happened in the future market. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, and where this happened is that it, it was it, the future market it was real, but someone's, someone's desperation at this time, big time. Your, your first couple spikes, we had spikes at 1,400. S&P tanks to uh, 1,411. Uh, then you get a couple separate spikes up there. Bottom line, folks, there's absolutely nothing there. And Apple, Apple's going to be just a huge, huge problem. Bond market. Well, let's go to gold first. We'll take a look at gold. What we have with gold, uh, gold today, 77,000 uh, contracts. Actually, I want to go back to the S&P because what we're going to do is this. We'll, we'll put these on all weeklies right now. So if we use the SPY, we put that on a, a weekly. This is what we have with the SPY. Um, on a weekly basis, so you got to a price point on a weekly of 144.55. You closed at 142. What the 144.55 had done is it got over the week of November 9th, closed underneath it. That's a total failure. We did that on 650 million shares versus 852. So what you have is 125 point ABC structure on the way down. We'll see how it attacks the lower B point, which in the SPY is 134.70. That's how it's set up right now, though. We came down with volume. We got up with lighter volume. Rejected that level. That's where it wants to go. We go to the Qs next. We take a look at the Qs. What the Qs did on a weekly basis also is that the Qs got into, we, I think we're going to be dealing with the same November 9th and all, yeah, we are, we're dealing with November 9th and all of them. The high of November 9th was 66.17, we got to 66.34, we did that with 204 million shares versus 238. Harmony, harmony what? Harmony to go downtown. We take a look at the small caps, the IWM. We look at the small, the small caps, we'll put that on a weekly basis. IWM, dealing with the same November 9th uh, area. Uh, IWM did volume of 170 million versus 194. We got over the high. We got over that 82.57. We had we got to 83.80. We closed under the 82.57. We closed at 82.36. So what you have there between the S&P, the Nasdaq, the small caps. I'll do the diamonds right now. It's, this is total harmony, folks, across all the industries. We take a look at uh, the diamonds. We put that on a weekly. Pretty amazing. Okay, so it's it's 100%. Uh, diamonds end up going to 133.34. We did 23 million shares, which it got over the 132.63. Correlation closed underneath it. 40 million versus 23. It's across the table, baby. It's across the table. Let's go over to the uh, bond market, USH3. We take a look at bonds, what we did out here with bonds today. Uh, she went up with 300,000 contracts. So that was the test uh, of the day of strength of November 7th. Uh, yeah, so never, they never made it to the bottom. 147 was the bottom, folks. Uh, what you did, we got down to uh, 147.09. And today, uh, you basically uh, start moving topside again. Once bonds come back inside, oh, they did. They, they come back inside the higher range, which is 148.11. That's saying bonds are going to be making a run next week. King Dollar. Well, we have a King Dollar here. King Dollar, she went sideways out here today, uh, 13,000 contracts. And this is the good thing. If you remember, when we were talking about uh, that, that spike down, okay, on the Fed announcement day how to get tested uh it had totally rejected that lower price we uh when the the fed announcement came out we went to 79 36 rejected it asap but we had 45,000 contracts guess what we came down there today with 13,000 contracts
you know, it, it's laying at that level. Uh, but bottom line is that that's the initial test. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. We had the Dow Industrials closed down at 35. NASDAQ off 20. S&P's off uh, five and a half. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.